What's up, guys? This is Natural Soap Man, as always, back with another review. In fact, this is the first review since becoming a flight attendant. This is very exciting, definitely different. If you haven't seen out the video or we're just seeing each other for the first time, I recently became a bit uh, flight attendant and <laughs> I now live in Miami and so <laughs> things are kind of crazy at this time. But I really want to get back making reviews and making videos again. So here we are, different setup, different sort of style, you know, <laughs> uh, some of it's intentional, some of it's not. Just so bear with me as we try to figure this out. But in the meantime, let's keep on keeping on. Now this week we are going to be taking a closer look at what is Suzy Bear's Barber Shop. So let's get right into our video. So first things first, I want to show you guys what the box and what the soap actually looks like, how big it is, give you some of the details. So when you order yours, you know what to expect. Now you may be aware or unaware, but this is in fact one of their limited editions. Right, so that's why you get this like, fancy box artwork here, which is always cool to look at, right? And the soap itself, you can expect a 6.25 ounce, so it's one of the big chunkies. This soap actually came in a little bit bigger. I, I, I could barely get out of the box, I had to like ground and pound it. Uh, also, this is in fact a exfoliating bar. So if you notice, you look at the bar, you see little specks. Yes, that's in fact the exfoliators. Uh, also, I promise you the soap was bigger. I just been using it and I haven't had a chance to record it. So yes, this soap is bigger than what you're seeing in the video. So just keep that in mind. All right, guys, so obviously most important part of the video, we got to talk about those ingredients and what are we looking at? What we got in our soap? What can we expect? Is this soap all natural or is it just simply natural? These questions about the answer. Now, some key highlights here. We do have four different fatty oils. We have our olive oil, the palm oil, and we also have coconut and castor oil over here. So great little selection of oils. Those are very powerful. Those are great uh, for the skin. Now, obviously we have organic shea butter. I think at this point, if a soap doesn't have shea butter, that's a red flag. We should just consider that. Gotta have shea butter. No shea butter, don't talk to me. Now. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, we also have goat's milk. And you know how I love goat's milk. One of very powerful ingredient, powerhouse, loaded vitamins and minerals, great stuff there. Now we do have something that you need to be aware of, a uh, bit of a yellow flag here, and we do have a natural fragrance. Now, if you're wondering why is that a big deal or why is that even a deal, uh, I spoke to at this point quite a few different people who make uh soaps or you can talk to anyone who makes soaps or knows a little thing a little about that they'll be the first one to tell you there's really no such thing as a natural fragrance it's all artificial they may be some things they do to it may throw some natural ingredients but at the end of the day it's still fra fragrance oil so is the soap all natural most likely not so not bad or good i'll let that you uh, let that ah, excuse me <laughs> whether it's good or bad i'll uh, let you decide on that. I just want you to be aware of that, right? Moving on, we have chamomile powder. That's cool. Don't really see that very often. And Tulsa silk, another two ingredients you don't really see very often. And Bracay and clay and sea salt. So those ingredients, I think besides the natural fragrance oil, we're doing fine as always. So as bear usually does incredibly well with the ingredients. Um, just personally, I may prefer the soap without the natural fragrance that's just me you know i know some people don't really care about that and some of you um are more into the all natural like me so either way those are ingredients i just want you to be aware of them and uh, let's move on to how the soap actually smells all right gentlemen let's go ahead and talk about how the barbershop actually smells now i'll be honest with you here this one i'm not a particular big fan of i'm not saying it's terrible but it's just not for me it has like this sweet, musky sort of smell. It's something about it just doesn't click with me. Yeah, um, it's again, it's not terrible. I can see people liking this. It's a very niche type of smell, in my opinion. Um, it's just not for me. It's not my favorite scent. Um, again, it has like a sweet, musky, sort of had a little bit of spice in there as well. Uh, it sounds good, right? It sounds good on paper, but it is... Um, yeah not for me had a weird vibe and just even over time 
like you because sometimes particular scents over time even though if i don't like them at first will start to grow on me and i'm like okay and then i'll come around to it i'm like yeah it's actually not that bad right my nose i guess sort of just this in here not so much i just never came around to it and ultimately i've just come to the conclusion i don't really like this one so i'm gonna chalk this up as a, a no-no for me so um however just keep in mind it is a sweeter kind of musky sort of spicy smell and very you know somewhat different for them so you may like it and if you do like it let me know and uh, share your thoughts and opinions in the comments below uh because again i'm just one guy so let's move on to do the lather test again hmm good good stuff as you can tell nice little lather as always from sudsy bear now that now let's begin wrapping up the video here with some final thoughts and recommendations here now this soap does come at nine dollars uh plus shipping handling unless you're a subscriber then i believe you get the shipping handling for free but you can expect a base price of nine dollars again 6.25 ounces so that's something to consider here is a bigger soap and uh, it is a limited edition so whether they come right now Sudsy does have a history of bringing back um sometimes even making their limited editions part of the permanent lineup so that is something also to keep in mind now overall i think the soap is fine i just not a fan of the natural fragrance and also just speaking of fragrance really not a fan of the smell um so overall it's really a no-go for me you know unless you you know for all my suzzy lovers out there you know if you just want to give it a try there's really nothing wrong with the soap i think it before and as always fairly well i didn't have any issues with it my skin felt soft and smooth and moisturized as always so on performance wise i mean there's really none to you know say otherwise you know it did fine in that in that regard so i think you're fine on that end um, just again, my, the fragrance to me was just, uh, something about it, man. It just did not click for me. I'm not saying it smelled terrible or anything like that. I just, I just couldn't get, I just couldn't, uh, couldn't vibe with it per se. Uh, but it's not, it's not terrible in a sense. Like I would never use it, right? Like obviously, right. I'm using it now and I'm going to keep using it for the time being. Cause I, I think it's serviceable. It's just not my jam. Uh, but at the end of the day, I think, uh, this is a fairly solid. So by Sudsy as always, um, and also, just so you're aware, if you're not aware, they do also have a deodorant that they made, and I'm also reviewing that as well. I was gonna combine those two, but nah, I'm just going to separate them and uh, make a different video. I'll probably post that this week or next week if if I ever get you know as soon as I get it edited, I'll post that up. Um, you don't want to miss that though. The deodorant from Sudsy is great so i want to share that with you you don't want to miss that video it the deodorant by suzzy is legit so make sure you watch that video especially if you're looking for a good natural deodorant i think i found one so keep that in mind well ladies and gentlemen that is my review of suzzy bears barbershop it's been a pleasure as always thank you for your continued support i appreciate all of you there are things moving in about Again, chaos, oh, you know, uh, moving a new city, just 
everything is it's really I don't want to say it's stressful you know because you just take these things one day at a time but it is definitely a bit of a headache you know just trying to navigate logistically speaking navigate everything and just trying to get pieces here and there you know it's not necessary next door you know what i mean from where i'm from but again ladies and gentlemen this is natural soap man it's been a pleasure as always until next time guys stay natural and take care bye bye.